The Honorable Kevin McCarthy of the State of California, having received a majority of the votes cast, is duly elected Speaker of the House of Representatives. As Speaker of the House, my ultimate responsibility is not to my party. My responsibility, our responsibility, is to our country. Battle over the gavel. Finally over as Kevin McCarthy becomes House Speaker and swears in the 118th Congress. So what priorities are on the docket now that Republicans are in control? Let's ask newly minted House Majority Leader Steve Scalise. Mr. Leader, congratulations. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, great to see you, as always. Uh, what, what, is the, what are the priorities coming up? And, and, and specifically, this vote on the rules package, which has to happen first, sounds like there might already be some contention. Could we look at multiple votes there, or do you think that'll pass quickly? Well, first, good morning, Pete and good Emily, morning. and good to be with you. And uh, look, we're going to take care of our business starting Monday. We're going to pass the rules package and then get into the policies that are so important to the people of this country. And you just touched on one of the most important threats to our country right now, and that's our open border. Uh, we're going to be bringing bills in the first week dealing with border security. In fact, Chip Roy's bill is going to be one of those first up. Uh, obviously, our committee's Judiciary Committee, Jim Jordan and his committee are ready to dive into that as well. Uh, but we're also going to be working to tackle inflation, to lower the cost of things for families. Look at energy. Uh, we need to become energy independent again. We know how to do it, just like we know how to secure the border. Uh, there are things that Biden could do today to secure the border. He just doesn't want to. Uh, there are things President Biden could do today to lower energy costs. He doesn't want to. He's made our country dependent on foreign countries. You know, we've got to get control over all of these problems and help those hardworking families who are struggling because of that failed far-left Biden and Pelosi agenda, it's no longer Pelosi, it's Kevin McCarthy as our speaker. For sure. Uh, Mr. Majority Leader, you know, if you have a family feud, it either divides you further or it brings you together. And we watched on TV uh, some disagreements on public display. I mean, Mike Rogers went to Matt Gates. It looked like he said, you know, I won't forget this. Are these divides that will linger and make it tough to pass the things you're talking about? Or do you have a sense that the Republican caucus has been through something and now they're ready to deliver? Look, this has been coming to a head for a long time, and it's really over the way that Congress has been run for, for years. I mean, what Pelosi has done over the last four years has been the worst. Uh, but at some point in time, there was going to have to be a confrontation about changing the way that Washington works. You know, a lot of us as conservatives have been frustrated with that. Uh, the American people, by the way, are very frustrated with it, too. And we are going to make those changes starting in the rules package, but then it's carrying it out. And just making sure that members, all rank and file members, can tackle the same issues that all of us want to mm. deal with, bringing bills to the floor, bringing amendments to the floor, having debates, stopping these omnibus bills. I will tell mm -hmm. you, you know, I don't think there's anything that disgusts me and most people across the country is seeing a bill that's four or 5,000 pages long, dropped by the dark of night, voted yeah. on the next day when nobody has a chance to read about it. For days and weeks, you find out bad things that were in it after it's been signed into law because Congress has done this for years where they just jam everybody, jam the Senate, jams the House. This game has got to end. And those were the discussions we've had. And I think that's healthy, by the way, that we took a few days to make sure that we can set up a Congress that can work for the American people. I wish that had happened years ago. Right, we were, we were saying all day yesterday as well, Congressman, that we thought it was healthy as well. Um, so when you talk about execution of this, you know, right now, Congress is the only GOP-led arm of the government, right? The, the Democrats have the White House and they have the Senate. What is the first measure of relief that Americans are actually going to feel, to actually going to see after you convene? Well, number one, people know that the madness is over. And, you know, these, these trillion-dollar bills, for the last two, year, last two years, we've seen nothing but $1 trillion, $2 trillion bills every couple of months and racking up trillions in debt. That is the biggest threat uh, to families right now. That's what's basically driven the inflation uh, that has forced people to cut back on their, on their standard of living. Uh, we've got to change that, and obviously we will, but then we've got to start confronting those problems. I mean, as you're talking about immigration, keep this in perspective. Just last year alone, more people came into our country illegally than the entire state population of New Mexico. That's how many people came in just last year, plus the 100,000 plus fentanyl deaths of our young people. Our young people are dying and nobody seemed to care in Washington. That changes. We're going to bring the Born Alive Act next week. Ann Wagner's bill that says if a baby's born alive outside the womb, 
You can't kill that baby and call it abortion. It's murder. And yet in states like New York, it's illegal right now. Uh, those are the sort of things that we're going to be doing to stand up for families, to deal with inflation, to deal with these problems that are holding our country back, including crime in our communities. Uh, that's something that so many people have been asking somebody to help with. And in many local communities, uh, their DAs, their mayors are making it worse by defunding the police. We're going to confront the defund the police movement as well. A lot to be said for stopping the madness, mm -hmm. uh, and we appreciate that. Uh, House, newly minted House Majority Leader Steve Scalise. I'm sure it sounds kind of nice. Just <laughs> Congratulations. It's, it's Congratulations, nice to sir. have that uh, that over and get ready to go to work. For so sure. Thank you. God we'll bless. be watching. Join we us again, please. look forward to it, too. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.